up next is the first of many exhibition matches here tonight. It's going to be Bruce Sheila going one-on-one -on -one against the Mystic, the great Suzuki. Bruce Sheila's made a great impact since his debut in GPW during 2010. Anything could happen when that man's in the ring keys. We've seen it before. Off keys, that's what happened to him. Yeah, attacked Suzuki from behind with Jason Logan in turn. Suzuki out here. This is his final test for 2010. Bruce Sheila coming in from behind and Suzuki moving out of the way, throwing in those punches in the corner off the ropes. Goes from the clothesline. Sheila ducks under it, goes up to Sheila, leapfrog over, hit toss. Bruce Sheila blocks it, throws him back. Goes for a short off close line. Off the rope, Suzuki rolls through, runs in, goes for a cross body, and Suzuki ain't nothing but air there. Ain't nothing but air indeed, Keys. Terrible miss by Suzuki, great scouting by Bruce Shiro. But Suzuki's got some fight in him. Suzuki now coming back with those four arms. Off the rope, palm strike. And if he can get the cover back, could be it. We've seen the palm strike before. One, two, Three, no. Close. Just a two count. But Sheila straight into the face, taking Sheila straight down. Off the ropes. Sheila. Big close from Suzuki to Sheila. And Sheila looks in all kinds of trouble in the early goings of his exhibition match. Because he came for a wrestling keys match, he didn't come for a fight. And Suzuki, all that pent up rage inside him, he's just striking the hell out of Bruce Sheila. Bruce Sheila can slap silly, doesn't know where he is, doesn't know what day it is. Well, Suzuki goes up top, he's been looking for a moonsault, I have no idea what he was planning there. But Bruce Sheila grabbing him, probably going for that belly to belly suplex. He's great to the eyes to Suzuki. He needed to get him off in case Suzuki was going mad. Suzuki now off the ropes, no, nope. holds on. Sheila runs in, pulls the rope down. And Sheila goes spiraling out the ring. And Suzuki gets the fans going. Going back to the ropes, going back up top. He could be going for a huge dive on Sheila. He's gonna fly, Keys. Flies out, oh! And la 
lands hard on the guardrail, smacking his chin, his face, and his whole head off the guardrail as Sheila moved out of the way. And Sheila, this is his chance now. This is this is Bruce Sheila's chance to get back on top of this match and to really take it to Suzuki and show the fans what he can do. Huge fall, bad landing, Keith. Good for your breath, but bad for your teeth. And I tell you something, Suzuki's holding his face, Keith. And I don't know if that's face paint or blood. That was a horrible landing. Well, Sheila concentrate his attacks there. Face head for Suzuki, and then working the cut, trying to win Suzuki, and choking him out in the corner. As the referee gets in there, starts the count as Suzuki can see, trying to get him off. When your body has a, an impact like that, because a, a 10 foot fall from the top onto solid steel, it takes time to recover, Keith. It takes time for your muscles to, to gain back any strength that they once had. And I tell you, Suzuki's not had that time yet, Keith. It takes time for you to know where you are. I mean, smashing your head on the steel guardrails. You've got to send you looping. And Sheila set a very deliberate pace since that moment, Keys, and he stayed on top of Suzuki despite the referee's protestations. And I tell you, well, this Suzuki. is bad for Suzuki. Well, Suzuki turned it round. Could this be him getting back on top in this match? Taking Sheila down, could be going for that slingshot elbow. I've seen this before, Keys. He lands on his feet as Sheila moves out of the way, and Sheila grabs him and slams him hard down with that gator slam. He's asking the fans to get behind him, Keys, and they believe in him. That's a rare thing to see, but the problem is, Keys, he's in there with a the technical wizard, and his brain's gone to mush since that guardrail incident. Well, we'll say Bruce Sheeler is a technical wizard. We've not seen many technical wrestling moves in this match from Sheeler. The referee goes down, counts for two after that suplex. And Bruce Sheeler getting more annoyed and aggravated. You can see it on his head, wondering what he has to do to put Suzuki away here, working over the cut again, runs in, into the corner, he's looking for turbo ball. Suzuki with a big close line, goes to that bulldog and connects, taking Sheila down and slamming his head straight into the canvas. Suzuki getting the crowd going here, as Sheila works his way back up to his feet, Suzuki in the corner, runs in, Big fight close line to Sheila. The second coming straight at Sheila. Back to his feet, both men goes for a third, but Sheila picks him up on the shoulders. Suzuki with a wheel kick there, spinning wheel kick to the face of Bruce Sheila. The referee goes down, could this be it? No. Suzuki going for many, many striking attacks, keys and almost, almost getting the job done. Those concussive blows to the face of Bruce Sheila nearly getting the job done. Suzuki is so fired up. I don't think we've ever seen him in this kind of a state. Just one move, though, from Bruce Sheila. Keys could get the job done. I mean, this is a real test of both men. We said it earlier on. It's, it's do or die for both these men here at Guts and Glory. And Bruce Sheila cutting off Suzuki on the top rope. Could have been going for that drop kick. I was saying because Bruce Sheila's getting beat up and Suzuki's getting tired. Suzuki throws Bruce Sheila off, up to the top, dropping him, kicking him straight in the face. One, two, three. Right from the left, this key. He's got to be a 15 foot drop. And that is a huge hit for Suzuki. He's at the end of 2007. And I think he can. He can't believe it. Suspicious looking referee. Thank <laughs> you.